Boehm. Hello and welcome to the Executive Protection Lifestyle Podcast. This is the number one podcast in the executive protection game, and this is the largest free real world library of executive protection content in existence. So sit back, relax, dig in, and enjoy the show. While we honor the slogan that executive protection is more than just a job, ladies and gentlemen, it really is a lifestyle. Boom. Okay, Tom Ryan, asymmetric response. We're hanging out, Close Protection Conference 2024. Um, this is probably one of the scariest dudes I know in the game, ladies and gentlemen, because <laughs> he knows how to do things that can just take your world and turn them upside down uh, because we're so dependent on, on the cyber realm. And that realm is becoming more and more of our lives. It has. It's changed a lot over the past year. Like, was it December? December 2nd? No. Yeah, December 2nd of last year is when ChatGPT first came out. Yeah. So a lot more people became a lot more familiar with what AI can do. And dependent, man. That thing, you know, my dyslexia, I've been having a good time with ChatGPT. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of other things. So yeah. the big one right now is deep fakes. Uh-huh. So cloning people's voices. You know, they just didn't realize like you podcasters were doing this forever with Descript. You know, yeah. Just editing and cutting. So now you have a bunch of them out there where you can literally just take a five minute sample of anybody's voice, clone it, and have them say anything you want. So I cannot be held responsible for everything I've said online. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> you know, because it may not even have been me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the, the other scenario where this has happened is a lot of people have like an Alexa at home. Yeah. And their accounts have been hacked before. Uh-huh. So if I can get into your Alexa, download everything you've ever said to Alexa, I can now replicate your voice as well. Golly. And now where this has become a problem is like with the executives and their children. Uh-huh. Okay, so I, now I can clone their children. And you've heard about all these hostage situations, yeah. like fake phone calls to grandmothers yeah. and stuff like that. This and is kind of how they're doing it, and it doesn't take much. And your kids, like, calling you, sounding like they're in distress, and there's, you know, someone else on the phone asking you for money because little Johnny or Tasha <laughs> is kidnapped and in, in they're supposedly in their trunk. And they're really just, like, in Bangladesh <laughs> in a closet, maybe. I don't know. You might know more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, getting you to wire her money and you do it. Well, you don't even have to do it. It's literally you type it and it says it. Wow. Now, the bigger problem that we've had is now a lot of the banks have gone to um, voice authentication for your accounts. Right. So you can use the scenario for the same thing. Wow. Now, on the executive protection side, where I've started to see this is dealing with super yachts. Okay. Okay. Super yachts are dealing with deep fakes, trying to steal money from the financial people. Wow. Wait, so real quick, like... On the voice authentication, this is like when, you know, the bank calls you and they're like, Byron, Mr. Rogers, is this you? And all I have to do is say like, yes, and a few other things. And they're like, okay, cool. And then they just open up all my content, all my information. No, it would be like, Byron, can you say these words? You type it out and it automatically says it in your voice. Wow. And then the bank teller's like, sweet. Okay. What do you want to do? And you're like, transfer this money to this account. Right. But now now the, the bigger problem you have is... How do you put security controls in place if this yeah. happens? Right. Okay. For instance, if somebody calls you saying that they're your wife, mm-hmm. you know, how, and you're not sure it's her because you can do what's called a spoof. So a spoof is faking a number. Okay. And it looks real. Mm-hmm. But if you know she's somewhere else and she's calling you and it doesn't sound right, you can always say, let me just call you right back. Ah. Okay. And that would be a simple mitigating control. Nice. Because then you're verifying that that is actually the person you need to talk to. And Cheat you'd be codes, shocked how much. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like nonstop. The hacks that are coming out for everything. Yeah. Like, um, everybody doesn't realize this. So every time there's a new war that goes on, yeah, it has an impact. So this whole Israeli-Hamas war, Yeah. where do you think the impact is? I don't know. What, what are we, where, where, are we, where are we looking at it? All right, so what you're not seeing is, well, most of the R&D work and AI work is done out of Israel. Uh, okay, so you're having scenarios like that. And, and, that, is, and, and that kind of makes it difficult because when we had the Russia-Ukraine war start, yeah. we had lots of problems with software because we've offshored so much work over there. Right. So then the software wasn't up to date. It was easier to hack. Yeah. And the more and more we have these cases, the more and more it adds new problems. So what are the implications for that work being done in Israel while Israel's in this war and under threat? Okay, so if you've done work with companies in Israel, 
they're they're looking at your supply chain and they're targeting those specific companies. Mm. Um, we've seen this happen. You know, Acme over in Israel got hit. That's because they suspect that's where certain agents go shopping. Mm -hmm. um, there was just one that came out yesterday morning. It was called Berkeley East Supply, which mm -hmm. is out of Montana. They got hit because they do work with Israel. So if you were, wow. you know, any of your customers do work with Israel, you have to kind of be aware of that because they may try a lot of things. When you watch MGM get hacked this year, that was a big one. Wow. They right? Yeah, man, and, they, and it was a while. Like it took, it didn't just go away. Like no. it wasn't like a, oh no, I can't believe this happened. Now, hi ho, the witch is dead and everything's back to normal. Like they were hostage for a minute, right? Uh, yeah, so the difference was the Russian hackers are like, pay us 15 million. Okay, we're not paying you. They end up losing 110 million. Because I mean, it, every day those things are down, they're just, yeah. they're just losing money. And it just went on. It was first it was Caesars, then it was MGM, and then it was a couple other smaller casinos. And it's the same people that are now starting to go after hotel chains um, because they go, they're all in the hospitality business is mm -hmm. the way it looks at it. So that's kind of where we're at. Wow. What, do you, what, what were you going to say about super yachts? You were saying we're seeing some stuff there. So the super yachts are a whole different scenario. So what they're doing there is they're kind of like, hacking them to take control of them. Wow. All right? The way they're doing it is, well, you got your super hot babe there that clicks yeah. the link on her Instagram. Woo. Hey, look at me. Yep. All right? And then she and then she like checks in and then <laughs> lets everyone her know where phone you're gets compromised and it ends up spreading through the, the boat. And then the problem you have to understand is there's two different networks. There's an IT and an OT. Okay. So the IT are all the computer systems. Yeah. The OT are the things like, you know, brakes, controls, rudders, Things like that, yeah, water like ballast how you systems. you control the actual hardware of the ship. Right. <laughs> sort of like what same, similar stuff. And can they can happen. get into all this. Yeah. Ugh. So they can literally take you hostage. Like the whole party's going to, they're taking it, they're turning and going to Russia or Sudan. Or no, no, no. Believe have. it or not, that's happening closer to the U.S. You'll see this oh. happening over in the Gulf of Mexico oh, like wow. from cartels. Wow. And that is a problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Golly. And so really, if you're on one of these ships, you've got to have you've got to have my man, my man Ryan here to make sure that <laughs> I mean, it, it's a never ending game, though. That's because the whole they're thing. looking for different ways in. You, you close a door. They're adjusting kind of thing. Yeah. You're always out trying to protect somebody. I'm yeah. always out looking at the three things that nobody knows about. Yeah. Ninety nine percent of the stuff that we see never hits the news, man. And that. Yeah. Because the news is too busy. Well, like this year, when you look at, I always say the best day to hack a place is the day before Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah? Because they no won't pick up on it until the Monday after. Wow. <laughs> so the big one that got hit then was GE. Really? Yep. Man. And then and then everyone goes goes away. and. What does GE make, though? Uh, uh, motor everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. Everything. GE. Not GM, GE. Okay. All right. So they, they'll make all the electronic controls. It'll be planes, trains, automobiles. Yeah everything electronic components in your house yeah so you have to think of you know what what's their intentions are they stealing the ip what's going on there wow so the fallout the implication is that most anything that they're making mm -hmm. that can be could be compromised in some way yeah i'm literally getting about 80 emails a day that look close to authentic yeah trying to get me to click on a link to take over my home networks now. Yes. Yeah, it's, I am too. It's out of control. <laughs> I am too, man. It looks like an Apple update, a Windows mm -hmm. update, uh, update your information. Um, and you're going to see this a lot more. Like the, the big ones that will start happening, it, dude, you're getting a lot of am, fake Amazon ones right Yeah. Now. I'm Here, getting a lot of deal. mail system ones that are they're like, oh, you have a package. Just click on this link. You have a package at the local mail system. Just click on this link. And usually it's a funky email address or something, so I'm kind of like, I'm dodging it, but they're getting better at it. No, they're really good. So you have, there's two different ways of doing it. On your computer, you look at it, you hover over it, and it'll show you the email address doesn't look legit. Mm -hmm. You kind of have to click on the email address on your phone and have it expand out with the email address where it's coming from. Okay. Don't click on don't anything click else. Don't click on an image. Don't click on an unsubscribe. Yep. It's all designed to take over your phone. Yeah, wow, man, that's gnarly. The only one that got me, maybe it was my vanity. Someone was like, hey, I made this video for you. 
you know, check it out. And I was like, ooh. And then I was like, I like, <laughs> like clicked on it and I had my finger on it. And I was like, no, no, my Instagram. <laughs> and I like, well, the Instagram one, yeah. Because oh, man. I, I, that happened to me last year because yeah. I thought I was going to be smarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm in the space. My friend Vivek, he's like, yeah, I got hit with this. I'm like, uh, so what they do is they hit you and then they hit all your friends. All your friends get hit up. So yeah. then when they hit me, I'm like, I'll stop it. Yeah. And then the controls you had on your phone, you think are in place, like two-factor authentication with Apple. No, it doesn't work. Really? It just doesn't Golly, work. Golly, don't tell me Santa Claus isn't real, man. I, I, had, to, I had to go back to Facebook, and you know, which it owns Instagram. Well, yeah, it's now Meta. Meta. And I was like, here's a simple solution for this. Yes. Have your 30 closest friends validate that you've been hacked. Yeah. Instead of waiting until 11 p.m. every night to get your support. Yeah. So just have them validate your hack and then just fix the account. Okay, that's that's good to know. Message, awesome. So what are you? What are you? What, your what was it? Asymmetrical. What was your company again? Asymmetric Response. Asymmetric Response Group or Response. Mm -hmm. What are you guys pushing into? What do you want the world to know about what you guys are doing right now? So right now, I've taken the industry a different approach. So I can master one specific thing, but everybody wants everything. Yeah. So I kind of look at it like how JSOC operates. Okay. So JSOC has the best of the best of every branch of the military. Mm -hmm. All right. So from our strategic partners, that's the way we've set it up. Awesome. I'll do all the offensive work. I have another friend that does the, the defensive. defensive. I have the investigation sides. Heck yeah. I have the risk compliance and governance, which is <laughs> part of cyber. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one to do whatever's left over. Okay. Okay. Makes it makes it an interesting place. And then trying to figure out where it fits in with all you guys in the EP world. It's Heck yeah. Because you have a whole different level, a whole different value of stuff. Yeah. 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 And, and some different equations. And what's your kind of target demo, like clientele demographic? Who, who are you guys been serving? So right now the main teams are top tier customers but mm -hmm. i've started off and said everybody's always like there's this shortage going on yeah I'm like it's not really a shortage it's like a lack of people that have the right talent yeah and i'm sure you guys have the same issue man. um right so talent and the right values right so we we started off this whole little group called green team okay and i'm sure ux military you can figure out where it comes from yeah yeah yep. all right Green team, you have to try out. Basically, it's your tryout section. As part of that tryout section with green team, mm -hmm. you're going to help the small and medium businesses because I can make it more cost effective since you're the much junior guys. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to go through the same governance, compliance, you know, SEC coming after you, things like that. Nice. Okay. I dig it, man. Yo, so when are we going to, can we like co-op on some digital stuff this year? What's up, man? Let's make a plan. Let's make a plan. I'm all about it. You just tell me what you need. Yes. Okay. Do you okay. want it in training? You want to do referral services? Yes. You tell me. A little bit of both. Definitely some training. Referral services sound so powerful. My man, this is awesome. So this is the man right here. You guys need digital stuff. You need digital capabilities. Um, I think we need to look no further, man. Thank you so much. Have a great one. It's an honor. We're just warming up. More good stuff to come. And he's strong, too. <laughs> Heck, yeah. Not like you, dude. Come on. Yeah, you know, I, I try, man. I don't like getting picked on. So I, I don't, I don't have time to go to the gym. I'm too busy stuck behind my keyboard. <laughs> well, That's why my pants fall because I have no butt. Hey, thank God you're there, bro, because things are getting crazy. Heck, yep. yeah. Awesome. All right, have a great one. Boom. My name is Nadia Daniel. Nadia Daniel and hi, I'm Joanne Butner. Of what company are you guys? Work? Oh, Nadia in Executive Protection and Security Services. Okay. Yes, we are a female-owned and operated business okay. in the Pacific Northwest, but we plan on working, obviously, throughout our uh, nation as well as global. Nice. Okay, so female-owned and operated. Are you guys like? female staff like you guys bring women to the game or do you have both male and female operators or um, so we not only concentrate in, on females mm -hmm. but um, on strong male personalities not just body build but um, uh, personalities have you know good soft skills yeah. hard skills and just be a good human being same thing for females, right? Yes. Because all of us have different personalities and perspective on life, and so that helps. 
Yeah. And I think it's important that both men and women are working together on teams yeah. because it's just, you know what, we complement each other, you know, with our skills. And if we have somebody that we're protecting or it's a business or it's it's a um, some kind of jewelry or device, you want a team that can think of all aspects. Right. And men and women, we bring that together. Yes. You know what I mean? We bring both approaches, different perspectives. And that's so important to make sure that there's that, that security yes. for that person that we're protecting or, you know, or whatever service that we're providing. I love it. I 100% I, uh, agree as well, because we do, we have different strengths, different approaches. Um, we look different. You know, I do a lot of like training and things like that. And then some of the videos you see, obviously men are recognized. They offer mm -hmm. that deterrence factor. But then there's a lot of videos I see where like the bad guy doesn't even see the female and that's how she got the advantage and was able to completely extinguish the threat and keep everyone safe. Absolutely. And, and one of the things that we talk about too is blending because yeah. if if we're providing protection for someone yeah. i could be walking with you and they don't right. know that i'm not your wife i'm not right. your girlfriend right. i'm not some relative they mm -hmm. don't necessarily think that i'm there providing protection for you exactly. and so it, it's really nice to for that particular principal to have that peace of mind that they can still have their privacy and go about what they're doing mm -hmm. but they're still protected and right. people quite don't know who is it protecting them or not? So you're right, right. It, it definitely is a benefit. What, what would you guys say to anyone, and I like what you said about personalities, um, because, I mean, this is just not a business for just like tough guys. You know, you have to be able to have the soft it skills. It looks like it though, but. It looks like it, yeah. There's a place <laughs> for it maybe somewhere. True. Like 30%, for what, 20%, 10%, you know? Right. But, uh, you need to be able to bring those things to bear if they need to be brought mm -hmm. to bear, those That's hard true. skills. But so much of lasting and serving clients and principals well has to do with the social dynamics of the game. That's true. Know? So mm -hmm. I love what you were saying about that. But what I was going to also mention, when uh, Joanne and I, like I was selling Byron, both of us, we retired, I should say, left law enforcement. Mm -hmm. And with our, you know, incredible background we decided to start something like this because there are a, a lot of female owned mm -hmm. there are agent female agents but not female owned companies especially me being from Ukraine mm -hmm. at first I said there's no way I can do something like this but then the more I started doing research and one of the first people that I came up on I want to say Google I started doing research Byron came up, uh, you know, and, and that's what helped me and inspired me that I can do that because I saw his positivity wow. and his inspiration that anybody can do this job if they have a good persona, good personality, you know, and being support and have that support from him. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my goodness, I can totally do that. Yes. That and means so much, by the way. Thank you so much. That's inspirational to me. It really does. And, and in today's world where, you know, politics change, you know, there's different religious things that are going on, you know, all Medical kinds of different, things, you know, the, the world can be a chaotic environment. Yeah. And so it's nice to know that if you need executive protection, right. that you have people that have a diverse background yeah. and that can blend in, mm -hmm. but also can help other people. I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're in the industry of protecting, but we're also in there to train, to empower other people, right. you know, so we can all live safely in our society. Right. So it's, you know, it's just, it's a growing industry because it's just a dynamic world out there. You always have to be ready for change. Yeah. And I think that's really important. No, 100%, that, that's exactly right. And you just almost don't know what the next thing is gonna be that'll be yeah. polarizing or whatever it is, you know, but creating companies where people can come and be a part of that and serve no matter what that is, that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think, you know, you guys said you're out in Washington. What is that? What is that scene? What type of work's happening for you guys out there in Washington? What does it look like out there right now? EP, we're gonna get an update. You know, what does it look like out there right now? 
Go ahead. Well, you know, with the Northwest, you have a lot of big companies out there. Yeah. You know, obviously Amazon, you yeah. know, you have Boeing, mm -hmm. you have Microsoft, mm -hmm. uh, Nordstrom's, you know, all these different companies out there. And in the Pacific Northwest, you have a lot of people that are traveling, you mm -hmm. know, to the Northwest, to whether it's for management development, whether it's a new technical, you know, device, you know, yeah. Apple's out there as well. So for the Pacific Northwest, there's a lot of work that mm -hmm. needs to be done, and there's a diverse group of people that are coming out there right. so that's why it's very important if you're in close protection that you're you know you're educated that yeah. you take the time to really understand what's going on how can people operate and accomplish what they want and feel safe in doing that right. and so like I said with the Northwest you know there's a lot of different things going on there's been a lot of different things that has happened over the last few years with law enforcement and yeah. everything else and I think what's important is that if you're out there doing this job be safe be human, right. be kind, you know, allow the principal or whoever you're protecting to go about their business. Right. Their but we have to have a respect for humanity. Yes. And I think that that's really important. Like you said, it's not the big guy standing there yeah. with the sunglasses there to protect. Yeah. Those it's, days are over. <laughs> it's people being human yes. so that they can go out and be successful and for whatever service or product that they're selling. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. Anything to add? Uh, what I was going to add, if, I don't, if you don't mind me I adding, Besides, you know, doing research and getting all the information off the internet, how to succeed in this business, mm -hmm. and, you know, launching our business, I also was looking for a female, you know, specifically women in protection training. Mm -hmm. And when I came up on, you probably might know her, Monica Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible human being. And the funny part is I was not going to go to the training because I thought, Oh, there's plenty on Google. Mm -hmm. There's plenty. I have enough experience. Yeah. But then, you know, a, a friend of mine, she's like, no, you need to go there because it's specifically for females. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I'll go. And it, this women in protection training that I went to was in Italy. And it was just so empower, empowering to see that there isn't enough females out there that you know, that need to do the job or can yeah. do this job. So it was really That's incredible. Exciting. And in what Nadia is talking about, I want to introduce someone who is absolutely amazing. She's yes. a woman that is trying to start with the executive protection industry and be out there. And she doesn't have your typical law enforcement, military yeah. background, but what she does have is a very dynamic personality. Yeah. Um, she's worked in the medical industry, and mm -hmm. as we all know in close protection, we don't want the you know what to hit the fan, but right. if it does, it's nice to have someone that has that knowledge on how to take care of. So I want to introduce Melanie. Um, Melanie, Melanie Vinuk. please come, come in here because Woo, here here is a future star also of executive <laughs> protection woman. Thank you for what you're doing. Hello, hello. Good. Can you hear us, Melanie? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Well, welcome, Hello. welcome. Yeah, we were talking a little bit earlier and you were talking about um, some of the training that you've done and you've put yourself through. I know some there, there's always been like a stigma, like you need to have a law enforcement or military or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of that's being crushed right now in our in industry because, you know, the reality is like, what have you trained lately? <laughs> you oh, know, yeah, like, yeah. What do you bring to the game right now when we go past the line of departure. And so right. I was really excited to hear a little bit about your background and what you're currently training and the industries you've come from because I think all those things have huge implications to make you an amazing, amazing agent. Right. So yeah, why don't you tell the world a little oh, bit about yourself? Oh gosh, Absolutely. okay. Um, well, my background is in uh, surgery, mm -hmm. uh, trauma down to private scrub. Um, I then went to occupational therapy, um, got my license in that, did that for a few years. Currently train in Gracie University combatives. Oh, I love wow. combatives. I did <laughs> yeah. do sports jujitsu for about three years, mm -hmm. um, and I also do a Filipino knife, a close quarter stick and knife. Um, and that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff yeah, that's the good stuff. And I also do scenario based training for civilians out of. Um, in Orlando, a place called WOF, W-O-F-T. Yeah, yeah. It's like Tactical Disneyland. Yes. How do you know? <laughs> I know. I know. You know. I, you know. Well, I get around. You know, I, you know. I do a little bit of this and that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I actually do um, instruction out there. Yeah. And cool. so that helps prepare me for that scenario base of the EP um, yeah. world. 
where I met uh, Jerry Haynes mm -hmm. yeah, um, out there. It was not a, a type of any type of training, just met him. And yeah. actually, he's the one who opened that door to, hey, go do that. Went to Bari, Italy with yeah. Women in Protection awesome. and follow you hey, and love you. Um, yeah. You're very inspiring. Thank and you. just the team of being able to be a part of a team, men and women, yeah. the soft skills that they were yeah. talking about in there. Um, just being an asset um, yes. is is just crucial in this environment and, and becoming one as a team instead of looking at you know, individuals. Exactly. I love it. Exactly. Uh, what would you suggest or give any recommendations for females in this industry? If I was going to give a recommendation for females, I'd say there's less competition because there's less females in the industry. That's true. So um, what I find is if a female can get into the game, spend a little bit of time building her reputation, her street credit, can stay out of trouble, like the same things for the guys, but there's less competition. So if she's professional, if she's got her hard skills dialed in, um, like you're telling me you, you, you're, you've studied these arts, you're consistent with these things, and she's professional and punctual, what ends up happening is, at first everyone's kind of hesitant, and then once they see that she's about her business, they usually get snatched up by the bigger details. Like That's they true. just, you, they get a lot more success after that initial period where everyone's a little hesitant. Mm -hmm. And so it's really just, I mean, it's kind of like what I tell a guy when he's getting with a big client. It's like, make sure you don't try to be a friend or a bodyguard. That's true. Make sure that they know you as a professional. If this person a year or two down the road looks at you and they're like, man, I can just depend on this guy. Like, yeah. this person is just a professional. That's when you become like the furniture. That's when they're like, no, I want Byron. I just know what I'm going to get. I know I'm getting a professional. And if a female can do that, like success is inevitable. That's, That's true. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, what do you guys, you guys got any, any suggestions for ladies in the game wanting to get into this industry? I think not to be scared. Yeah, that's good. Not to be scared and get training. Yeah, invest in yourself. In invest in yourself. And you know what? Yes, I want to say everybody can do this, but not really. Because right, right, right. if you don't have that drive to succeed yeah. and empower others, that's our goal within NIGEO Executive Protection, is not only provide executive protection, but empower other women to succeed. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. that's what they need. Yeah. Perseverance, perseverance, perseverance. Yeah, yeah. It's a grind. I'm already, <laughs> I'm learning the grind, yeah. but it's all right. That's Martial fun. arts experience, yeah. discipline, yeah. perseverance, and enjoy the journey. 100%. I love it. And I hope that you all will come and train with us at the league. Oh, I've been looking at that training. Boy. I've been yeah. looking at that training. Come on, you know, we, we've had some ladies come through. It's amazing. It's, it it's amazing. It's life changing. And, you know, get becoming part of the network and part of, you know, the brotherhood as we use, you know, it's it just, it's amazing experience, you know, it's something that mm. you, you get that goes with you for your whole career. You know, so, so do you get any negativity? Yeah, like how? And you are? I mean, I'm on social media, you. so. <laughs> <laughs> like, how Besides, do you but, but you know, you in industry and now that you're on social media, yeah. do you get that negativity? Oh, you, should, you shouldn't be on it. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. don't you just stick with the, with protecting the people? Why yeah. are you trying to show off? Mm -hmm. I get it. I, well, so when I first started this whole thing, I was kind of like, oh, I'm going to do a podcast. Every one of my close friends that cares about me was like, don't do it. You're, you're, you'll never be worked with again. It'll be the end of your career. And I was like, <laughs> there's no, there's no, I'm looking online. There's one video about Elijah Shaw. That's it. That's the only thing. And yeah. I was like, no way. Like this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to contribute. And over time, people will see my heart. You know, like, yeah. you have a few thousand videos. I can't fake for thousands of videos, you know? So people will see who I am and, and, and I'm going to contribute. I'm going to make contributions. And so, um, yes. You and know. you're consistent. Thank yeah. That's what I yeah. noticed. You're consistent. There's always videos coming always up something. about you. Yeah, so. I try to drop one or two a day, yeah. which is a blinding pace, but it's I just love it. And um, yes, at first I got some pushback, like, who's this Byron guy? He doesn't look like any of the other, you know, like old school guys and like, you know, and, and I just kept going and it's just turned into something beautiful because we respect operational security. Mm. We don't talk about who the clients are. But we contribute to the industry and we talk about tactics and principles and all the things that make us better. And, and um, 
it's been amazing. And then now with students coming through, watching, like you keep talking about empowering people and watching them succeed, mm. there, nothing is cool. As looking yes. over here and seeing two of my students are directors for major companies walking around. You know, I can't even get them to work for me because they're too busy <laughs> working, right? you know? And there's nothing better in the world. That is true. That is true. Well, I want to thank you for giving us time. Absolutely. Such an honor. Love thank what you, you all are doing. You do. yeah. Yes. Thank you. you know, and you're beautiful people. And I really hope that, thank you, sir. Um, you know, people are going to see this and be inspired, you know, and they're going to be like, you know what? I can do this. I'm yeah, going to yes, come and I'm going to do train. Don't be scared. Yeah, train. Like Even little Washington. females can do it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I love it. All right. Outstanding. Thank yeah, you, thank ladies. You, sir. Boom. Boom. What's up, guys? Hanging with Vincent Levy. We hanging out. How you doing, hey, sir? Man, it's good to see you. Dude, it's good to see you, man. Y'all may not know, man. Y'all may not know, but it's like my brother from, the, from another man. mother, man. We've been mixing it up, you know, yes, staying sir. in contact. He came yes, through sir. the course. And I think you've only done the digital, the online yeah, course. Literally. And you've literally been killing the game. Thanks to you, man, oh, and your man. support. Man. Yay. Thanks for your support. Such an honor, but like you're a savage, so it's just like super uh, easy. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, I'm like, there's the target. You're like, say less. Literally. <laughs> right, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. No, it's that's, a recipe, man. It's how long recipe. have you been in this in this EP side of things, man? I guess it'll be, my well, my second tour ended in November, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, so second tour ended in November. So you came through the course, and then how long was it until you got on tour? November, December, maybe three months. It was three like months, three, four man. months, literally three, four months, Boom. and got a phone call. And I called you like yeah. right after the phone call. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. yo, just got this phone call, this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you were like, man, you got this. You yeah. know? And I'll, I'll never forget the advice you gave me was legit. You said, at the end of the day, just be a gentleman. Yeah, bro. It's literally yeah. what you told me. <laughs> yep. And I was like, you yep. go, you, go Cause you got everything else. Yeah. You did it and you gave me like the pep talk and you mm -hmm. said, just be a gentleman. Yeah, bro. Just do what you do. Yeah. Be a gentleman. Yeah. And that'll kill it, man. And that's the game. And here we are a couple tours later. I mean, top of the game, A-listers, all the stuff. Yeah, it's been phenomenal, man. You I've know. Been fortunate, man. Yeah. Uh, and you, you don't lie. I mean, I think the last Zoom call I was on, I had that look, that yeah, ragged bro. dog look. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yo, what's up, man? You look tired. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, just, you know, I'm still in Australia time, New, New Zealand. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm at right it. now. I it's told it. you it was more than just a job. It was a lifestyle. <laughs> <And> literally, <laughs> yeah. man, I'm t folks, he doesn't lie. I'm yo. telling you, believe what he says. So, yeah, man. Yeah, it's been phenomenal, man. It's been an incredible experience. And you make it so simple which Thank is you. what i love it was literally yeah. so simple i mean mm -hmm. it's just the recipe if you follow the recipe mm -hmm. and, and i've said this and it's redundant i have used things from your course verbatim yeah yeah like yeah. the first time i went to an fbl yeah yeah i was like i don't know oh. Hold on a minute. i know we got a video let me check this out and right literally here. verbatim said what you said yeah and then, just it just made things so much easier. It's unfolded man. yeah no man that means the it's world great. man that was the intent when we put this stuff together, you know, mm -hmm. it was like, okay, cool. Like I remember my first time doing a lot of these things and I was like, okay, cool. Like, what am I do? I'm going to walk in here. I'm be like, yo, what's, you know, like, how am I going to do this? And then I was like, man, I'm just going to start making like these cheat codes, man. Like, cause this is what cats need. And you can be a good dude and you can do it wrong and get jammed up. Mm -hmm. You know, you come in there with the wrong energy, asking the wrong questions, not knowing what you, what, what the tail number is, right. You know, and the next thing you know, they're looking at you, you know, I'm already black. So, you know, <laughs> I was like, my dad, you know, my grandma, you, she, I still hear her voice, Byron, you're already black. You're going to have to be twice as smart, you know. So I, I've always well, just tried to be a good dude. And, man, that goes far, you know. So Really, really. Nah, man, I'm so proud to have you, yeah. you know, proud to see you first conference done. for me, man. It's yeah. Been Again, because every other, uh, every other opportunity, oh, I'm in blank. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. over here, I'm over there, so I wasn't able to do it. But this yep. year I was like, I'm coming yes. and it's been it's been amazing, man. Yeah. The networking, phenomenal. The 100%. people that you're meeting, the fraternity. I mean, seeing people that you've only seen on a Zoom call mm -hmm. or that you've been encouraging just coming up and giving you love and yeah, you know, handshakes, man. man the powerful, brotherhood. Man. Yeah. Yes, it, so. no, and seeing all the all the all the gold badges, oh, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Like it's just we here in full force and and that's one of the huge things, man. I love doing my career with you guys, man. Like we're a brotherhood. Take a course and now you have a group to do the the industry mm -hmm. with. We're coaching everybody through it, man. Absolutely. You guys are walking up to me like I'm taking some notes from these guys too, man, cuz his stuff is sharp. 
Like he showed me his like digital page that he built. It's got links, got his resume, everything dialed in. So we're hitting this event as a as a as a school. Absolutely. You know, dudes are walking around and Buddy Pair is hitting every single table. I told everyone your mission is to meet every single person Absolutely. in this place. And so, you know, like having that level of, of coaching and having that level of support, because there's a lot of guys here walking around by themselves, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's invaluable and we've seen it turn into work for the guys that are couple of the dudes right over here that are directors at yeah, these companies. I, yeah, I heard his story and I was like, wait, I've seen you on the calls yeah. and I was talking and they were like, yeah, now he's like general manager and did it. Yeah, like, and yeah. that was like region, a year. The whole managing yeah. the U.S. for these dudes, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, though, man, it goes back to, and I don't know how you do it by the grace of God, it's yep, your, pe how. you being accessible. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people realize how valuable that is that yeah, man. And I, I've been saying it. I don't yeah. know how long people are going to be able to shoot Byron a text and Byron responds back. Yeah. And he's like, hey, man, I got a question <laughs> about, but like a personal question. Yeah. Hey, man, I got a question about this specific situation. Mm -hmm. Not, oh, check a module. Yeah. You respond back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go, well, yeah. what do you got? Yep. What do you got? Yep. You know, whether you're in the bro. sauna or you're in a car. Sitting on I mean, a detail. Yo, bro, this is what I think no you doubt. should do. <laughs> yeah, really? real well, talk. Well, and even the, even the, the one you sent out today, you was like, mm -hmm. hey, make sure you come, suit, tie. Yes. And I was like, oh, tie. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, okay. Because I, well, I brought, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't like, know. Oh, like, oh, should he said, I, should he, I not? And you was know? like, make sure you got a side. Boom. Okay. You can't put a price on that. No, man. Because I mean, those are those people, little things, man. Exactly. We walking through here, and we want that edge, man. Exactly. And and when you're going into this, this is like a lion's den. You're about to meet the hitters in the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I want to put us in a position to win. But mm -hmm. the value is that is huge, man. Yeah. And, and, and the reality is a lot of you guys are DMing me. And get my number some kind of way and text me and trying to hit me up hey trying to get these freebies and if you want the mentorship get in the course because it's there man. me responding to you guys is taken away from my guys you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying who who have already invested in me mm -hmm. and you better believe if you invest and you spend money to try to you know in, in my brand in this and our brand mm -hmm. you know i'm gonna do everything i can to get you winning you know what i'm saying like and that's where the energy goes so you guys if you're watching and you want help with your careers or you're stuck or you're trying to get in man this is where it's at, epspecialist.com. And it's, he's telling you the truth. Yeah, what man. you pay for is more than just the training. You get the mentorship. Yeah. And it's not, oh, yeah, we give you mentorship. Yeah. Again, I'm going to say it. I don't know how long. Yeah. But what he's done is he's also created a product that there's duplication. Because yep. now I got yep. catch reaching out to me. Yep. And they're like hitting me up going, hey, man, yep. what have you done? And, yep. da, 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 da. Yep. and I'm like, well, this is what I did. I'm like, well, remember in this module, you yes. know, I tell people, do what he said with the LinkedIn. Do yes. Fiverr. Do this. Yes. So that part is what's going to keep it going. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the way that man did with 12. Yep. He duplicated himself with 12 Boom. and changed the world. Hey, it's and the we same changed thing. the world, man. And, and the networking, man. Like, these cats are mm -hmm. all hanging out, you know, making moves. Mm -hmm. One of the other guys is like, dude, all the work I've gotten has been from in our network. Mm -hmm. You know, and that for me is so valuable. And now we got guys in our network starting their own companies, moving into management, looking at hiring, and it just is going to feed itself. But my question is, bro, Vince, man, this is one of our top students. He's got mad experience, been traveling, he's been touring, top of the game. Like, I wish I had something I could put you on right now, you know what I'm saying? What are you looking for in the industry right now, man? What are you leaning into? Let them know where you're based out of, and then really what you're looking at getting into. And if it's just... I'm looking for the next good thing, I'm looking for the next good opportunity, you know, let them know. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and mm -hmm. what I bring, I think, is special because of my years in law enforcement. I have training in mental health first aid, crisis intervention, and verbal de-escalation. And I combine that to create a hybrid that allows me to bring a service to high-end clients that I don't think is out there. Yeah. Because I connect with them on an emotional level, yeah. on a mental health level of yeah. record. So I'm looking yeah. for a place where I can put that to work. Yeah. But I'm also in the works of creating curriculum so yes. that I can teach other people mm -hmm. that skill set yes. for to offer a complete protector. Yeah, 100%. And we're going to... You know, Hey, the curriculum's <laughs> happening here at the league. Don't y'all be getting ideas. I know y'all be watching. <laughs> we got to do some stuff. Let them know a little bit more about your background, too, right. so they understand where this stuff comes so from. So started, I uh, started in law enforcement and was headhunted to do some undercover narcotics work. So in doing that, that allowed me to be how to assimilate into mm -hmm. other yep. other 
groups. situations and groups. But Cultural where equity. Where your life is on the line, yes. but it crossed over into EP. Yes. Because I'm comfortable with billionaires, stars, yep. Yep. or the homeless person on the corner. Gangsters. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm like, Grew up in Los Angeles, so yeah. that kind of helped a little bit. Inglewood is in the house. Yeah. Shh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. But my, my wheelhouse has always been the human aspect. So with the mm -hmm. mental health first aid, the crisis intervention, I was a negotiator in my department and you know, trained by the FBI. So use those skills to interact with individuals on the streets and right. always connect on that human level. Yeah. And that's a part of that protector, yeah. that, that protector DNA that you talk yes. about. So that's I, my heart and my passion yeah. is really just equipping. Yeah, and those social dynamics that we always talk about, social dynamics of executive protection. Absolutely. This is how you gain influence. This is how you gain equity with your clients, social equity in those environments. Mm -hmm. So you can get things done. I mean, come Absolutely. on, man, like getting things done, managing the royal court, managing the house staff, the other teammates, like this is how you get things done. This is how you gain rapport. Yes. Like, so these skill sets, man, if you can do it out there in the streets, you do it here with the clients, this is a man you stick next to your client and the social aspect, which is how we make our money, <laughs> you know, yeah. is covered, man. Yeah. You, you have powerful. those hard skills in the bag. They're yep. there, but yep. they want to know, can you interact with the venue people? Yep. Or when, you know, I had the opportunity to do it on this last tour to handle the venue side. Mm -hmm. So I'm networking with, you know, what we would consider low-end security, the yeah. guys at the door. Like, yeah. no, they're those not are teammates. Those are auxiliary we teammates. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. So interacting with other cultures and whatnot, mm -hmm. all of those things are super important. So yeah. don't just get caught up in the caught up in the flash and the bang and the go fast. Yeah. You have to educate yourself and build those skills on how to interact with individuals, the human aspect, because it's a service nature yeah. and that's what we're doing. Yep. Yep. And you're what he's one of those one man details. Like you could send him into a place and then he, he's gonna make make everything work man and Appreciate that's what you've been doing on the road you Appreciate know what i'm saying that's, that's exactly you, right man so man it's an honor it's such an honor we still just we're still just warming up we still just getting going um here you know like i said realistically you have a lot of experience in the field law enforcement already a lot of experience in the industry but bruh we, we're literally just widening up. We just get, it's like a year in, man. We just warming up, man. So I'm super excited, man, and super to have you as part of the crew. Thank you. And uh, I can't wait to see what's coming, y'all. Let's go. Whenever you're ready, man. We That's just, it. we, we it's, it's about to go down. It's real. Boom. Boom. Quick shout out to our sponsor, Staccato. My first pistol sponsor. Um, I've been sponsored by a lot of companies, right, over the years. But when it comes to pistol, that's my bread and butter. Pistol is something I believe in. You know, I'm a competitive shooter. You know, we're shooting anywhere from, you know, 800 rounds a month type of thing, right? So Staccato being what I believe, is one of, if not the most complete handguns you can put in your hand. Um, it's got every component that a handgun could have, should have. Uh, they're actually extremely dependable now that they've made some changes. And these things are straight up tack drivers. If you're looking for a pistol that will do as much of the work for you as a piece of hardware can, obviously you have to have the, the, the marksmanship and all the different things, but different guns perform at different levels. And I wanna say that Staccato is one of, by far, for sure, take it from a competitive shooter, we're shooting the highest volumes of rounds constantly right now, not used to have a background guy, but like right now, when you go shoot, you're gonna see certain brands. Staccato is one of, if not the highest performing firearm that is both CCW, duty ready, and also competitive ready. So I wanna give them a shout out if you guys are looking for a good handgun to build your skills on top of, go check out Staccato, much love and respect. Boom, when it comes to the technology you use to protect your home, there's nothing better than Deep Sentinel, AI driven, human monitored technology that will keep you and your family safe for the same price you're paying for whatever ring doorbell system you have. Check out Deep Sentinel. Um, it's such an honor to join forces with these guys. They should be in every single house in the world. Get real-time Overwatch for you and your loved one. And for 10% off, depending on when you're watching this, don't forget to use code BYRON at checkout. Boom, and to support this podcast, go to executiveprotectionlifestyle.com and contribute to our Patreon account. That Patreon account is what 
helps me make this podcast possible, contributing to this brand, what we're doing here, making it so that I can bring better guests on, making it so that we can plan more events and just expand the contribution to the private security industry and also to make an America a safer place. Do whatever you can, contribute whatever you can because it makes all of these things possible. Thanks for those contributions. Thank you.